Uh, we're pork producers in Abbotsford. We used to be commercial pork producers. We've been shifting over from commercial to more of a, we're not organic, but we're leaning to that side. Uh, as we've started shifting our farm to raising the pigs different, our meat has changed, the texture has been different, the flavor has been different, and the response, and because we've done that this year, we decided to go out and start selling direct to consumers, and we have some restaurants using it now, and some grocery stores buying it as well, they've started. But the response we keep getting back from people buying it is, this is what pork used to taste like. And, and so that's been encouraging. Uh, so for this evening, we're also paired up with Savory City, Donna here, has taken some of our product, and you can see what she's done. She's making these scoves with it. Um, I can tell you. I can tell you how much I like the pork. The ham is <laughs> so delicious. It's so delicious. It's just sublime, and it's just it. Honestly, it's like when you taste pork like this. When I cooked with the ham, when I first got the ham, I looked at the color and I went, I can't believe the color of this this ham that I'm getting. And then we slow roasted it, and then we also used Jerry and Audrey's um, blueberries and turned it into the compote the chutney to go with the red five wheat scone. So it's just like a fabulous combination. I mean, it's just the way the food should taste. Really, that's all it is. It's just wonderful. So I'm, and I was just at the market on Saturday to go pick up the ham and Jerry and Audrey were already sold out of bacon and ribs. So there you go. So I'm like a champion of them. So, so it's always nice when other people talk about your product because then we don't need to. <laughs> uh, but, but no, it, it's been a new journey that we've started on and, and what we've seen so far this year and where we're at, it's been very encouraging and we hope it just keeps growing. And as Deborah said, I mean, in, in support the farms. It, it's been a challenge over the years in agriculture the last year. She, she stated all of our input, input costs keep going up, but the returns always don't. So, so it's been a challenge. The world continues to change. And, and we just have to adapt and change with it. So thank you, and uh, keep buying good food. Yay. Thank you.